Spanish-style architecture exploded in popularity in the early 20th century. The casual asymmetry and indoor-outdoor connections reflected the culture's move towards informality. It was also perfectly suited for the climate of the developing Southern California region. And maybe most importantly, it reflected both a romanticized past and the very current romantic allure of Hollywood. In this video, we'll explore the defining characteristics that make these homes so special, delve into the importance of preserving the original architectural details, and how a firm like ours, Hartman Baldwin, can customize the floor plan and make any other alterations to better serve your needs while preserving its style. Spanish style homes are immediately recognizable for their distinctive look, often characterized by red tile roofs, whitewashed stucco walls, and wrought iron detailing. What we call Spanish style is more accurately referred to as Spanish colonial revival. After World War I, revival styles in domestic architecture became incredibly popular. Today, you can find older neighborhoods filled with Tudor, Normandy, Colonial, and Cape Cod homes, often side by side. But none of the revival styles were as prevalent in California as Spanish revival. Early architects working in the style drew inspiration from Spain, but also from the Southland Spanish and Mexican heritage. As rich as that heritage was, there were very few existing homes to draw inspiration from, and those that did exist were often ramshackle or very humble. So, in addition to studying the old adobe casas and ranchos, architects also looked to presidios and mission architecture for inspiration. This makes sense when you start considering some common elements of the style, like courtyards, fountains, arched arcades, and stained glass windows. As diverse as the style is, Preserving the distinctive architectural details is crucial to maintaining the authenticity and charm of the design. So let's take a look at some key features that define the Spanish colonial revival style and why they are important to preserve. The iconic red tiled roofs inspired by Spanish and Mediterranean influences are a defining feature of the Spanish style home. They not only contribute to the aesthetic appeal, but also reflect the historical connection to Spanish and Moorish architecture. Smooth but hand troweled and slightly irregular stucco exterior walls are often found in light earth tones and creams. This cohesive and textured finish provides a durable and weather resistant exterior while still paying homage to the traditional building materials of Spanish architecture. You could say that our mild climate liberated the living spaces from their interior boundaries. Spanish style homes often embrace the concept of outdoor living with charming courtyards and patios that seamlessly blend the boundaries between indoor and outdoor spaces. These spaces may be defined by low garden walls, built-in benches, or even plantings. They are sometimes under a roof or covered with a trellis or pergola or completely open to the sky. They may be behind or to the side of the home, but can also often be found as entry courtyards. The asymmetric plans of many Spanish-style homes are designed to look as if they grew almost organically, and courtyards fit into this wonderfully. They are perfect for entertaining guests, enjoying a morning cup of coffee, or simply basking in the beauty of your private oasis. Courtyards reflect the Mediterranean tradition of creating private, inviting retreats for communal enjoyment. Preserving these spaces enhances the overall lifestyle experience and connects modern homes to historical precedents. One of the defining features you'll notice is the prevalence of graceful arches. Arches are not just an architectural element. They are an integral part of the Spanish structural composition. Though Spanish revival buildings are nearly always wood frame structures, remember that the historical precedents were almost exclusively masonry structures adobe, stone, or brick. In a masonry building, the arch is an important structural element necessary to distribute weight and allow for large openings. The graceful arches of the style harken back to this purpose. They frame doorways, windows, and even courtyard entrances, adding a touch of elegance and a nod to the influences that inspired this style. The different shapes of arches found in Spanish revival architecture reflect the incredible diversity of the many regions of Spain. Though the classic arch, with its precedent found throughout the Mediterranean, is the most common, you may also find parabolic arches inspired by the designs from Catalonia and Moorish-inspired horseshoe arches taken from the Andalusia region of Spain. 
along with arches, you often find thickened walls, and notice that the windows that are not arched are relatively small. This again is a reflection of the style's masonry precedent and origins. Though structurally, the arches and thickened walls are not necessary in wood-framed buildings, they are a critical element of the architecture and need to be preserved. If you are thinking of adding a large opening from the home to the backyard, for example, think of how arches may be used to integrate the new feature into the composition. Proportion is important. Notice that if there are a series of arches on a facade, there is a cadence to their placement. When making modifications, it is extremely important to consider proportion and feasibility. For the arch to be feasible, it needs to look like it supports something and works with the overall composition of the home. Keep an eye out for the intricate details that make Spanish-style homes truly special. Talavera tiles with their vibrant colors and geometric patterns are often used to add a touch of artistry to kitchens and bathrooms. Additionally, wrought iron fixtures, gates, and railings are commonly found throughout the home, providing both functionality and a touch of old-world charm that celebrate the artisanal traditions of Spanish blacksmiths. This contributes to the overall visual richness and authenticity of the design. In an unenlightened remodel, often the first thing to go is the original fixtures and hardware, only to be replaced by mass manufactured and poorly designed modern ones. Details like tiles and ironwork are the home's equivalent of jewelry on a person. A good choice really brings everything together, but the wrong choice can easily break the entire composition. When it comes to color palettes, Spanish style homes favor soft whites and light earth tones for the body of the home and earth tones such as terracotta, ochre, and green for the trim and other details. These colors not only reflect the natural surroundings, but also contribute to the timeless atmosphere. In the Spanish colonial frontier, when the historical precedents were being built, natural pigments were quite simply all that was available. The choice of appropriate exterior paint colors is very important. Don't make the mistake of blindly following current trends. Wood accents, often dark stained or aged in ceiling beams or furniture, add warmth and a rustic touch to the interior spaces. There is something truly striking about natural wood or stenciled beams against a white plaster ceiling. Interior trim is often minimal. In many examples, the plaster simply juts up to the door or window jam. This minimalistic aesthetic really resonates with our contemporary eye and is particularly striking when the doors or windows are natural wood. The graceful Spanish Revival facade is a composition of large arched openings and smaller windows. The style often employs a mix of window types, including wood and metal casement windows and even stained glass. The relatively small windows are an adaptation to the warm climate and again, a reflection of the masonry precedent. An attractive facade has windows placed in a manner that reinforces, rather than competes with, the design intent of the building. Because Spanish homes are asymmetrical and composed of distinct masses under different roof forms, the windows are placed to establish a rhythm of openings across the facade and to balance the solid parts of the walls. Maintaining or restoring the original wood or metal windows is ideal. It's often the most economical option, and contrary to popular opinion, a renovated and properly functioning historic window is compatible with current energy efficiency standards. Sometimes the original windows have already been replaced with an inferior vinyl or aluminum product. It may also be the case that the original windows are determined to be beyond repair. You may also be adding or remodeling an exterior wall. In these cases, the new windows should be a quality product in a like material to the originals. They should also possess the same proportions and have the same divided light configuration as those they are replacing or to the others on the home. Preserving these architectural details is crucial to fully honor the original intent of Spanish colonial revival style homes. It not only pays homage to the historical roots of the design, but also contributes to the overall sense of place and cultural identity. By retaining these features, we ensure that the essence of this architecture endures, creating homes that are not only aesthetically pleasing, but also deeply connected to its local cultural heritage. Now you might be wondering, how do I navigate the remodeling process without losing the essence of my Spanish style home? That's where Hartman Baldwin comes in. 
With nearly 40 years of design build experience, we specialize in preserving the integrity of historical homes while seamlessly integrating modern features. Now let's talk about Hartman Baldwin's approach to your Spanish style home remodel. Our approach is all about preserving the soul of the home. We work closely with homeowners to understand their vision while respecting the architectural style. Whether it's completely reconfiguring a floor plan or renovating the entire property, our goal is to create a harmonious blend of old and new. A successful remodel should meet your needs and honor the original design. And there you have it, a glimpse into the enchanting world of Spanish style homes. Whether you're a homeowner looking to infuse some character into your space or an admirer of architectural beauty, the Spanish colonial revival style offers a timeless and inviting aesthetic that exemplifies the blend of old and new world craftsmanship of our region. Remember, preserving the character of your Spanish style home is not just about architecture. It's about honoring the stories embedded in its walls. And with a design build firm like Hartman Baldwin, you can confidently embark on a remodeling journey that respects the past while crafting a future designed to enhance your modern lifestyle. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts below. Until next time, happy remodeling.